Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. I'm Bila David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show you how to filter top 5, 10, 15, or 20. And we're going to use the spin button to achieve the filtering. Therefore, let's get started. In our sample data set, we have four columns date, payment method, brand, and the system amount. Now, when I deploy control down arrow key, we can see that we have 10,000 of rows excluding the headers in row one now when you come to the right of the spreadsheet we have this data which of course we're going to add to the main data set and we expect the table to automatically grow. now in order to achieve all this we need to format this data as an excel table secondly we need to create our named ranges now the named ranges is essential because we do not want to alternate between the two sheets okay now let's do the first thing which is to format this data as an excel table now click in a single value a cell rather and deploy control t now we have this create table dialog box and of course excel is so smart to understand that our table has headers because we have the headers in row one and because of that the my table as header has been checked automatically so i'm going to press proceed and click on ok and officially this data is stored as an excel table and we have the table design contextual one tab and this default table name now let's rename this and call it sales data and click on enter now let's clear this our style this is not compulsory okay secondly let's of course create our named ranges and let's select this entire data set and check for this diagonal arrow and of course come to the formula tab under the defined names we have create from selection we can even deploy ctrl shift f3 which brings the create from selection dialog box now our labels is in the top row not in the left column so i'm going to uncheck the left column and click on ok to verify this named range that we have created come to the name box and we can see the four columns and also we can see the table itself now let's create our other sheet and let's call this report click enter come here let's, let's borrow this our labels and paste and let's just expand okay now i'm going to write our single formula now the formula is going to use the filter dynamic arrays now this function is exclusively available in excel for m365 and office 365 and of course also it is available in excel for the web so let's write our single formula equal sign filter press the tab key now the filter requires the array so the array is what we want to return based on the criteria that we're going to provide afterwards now for the array i'm going to type in the name of the table which is sales data press the tab key comma now for the include argument i'm going to type in the sales amount named range that we created so i'm going to type in sales amount and i'm going to use two operators greater than or equal to then train the large function now for the large function we need to provide the array so it's going to be the same sales amount named range okay and then for the k that is what's going to give us our 5 10 15 or 20 based on this formula we're using so i'm going to type in five let's say that close the large close the filter control enter bam it gave us the top five so we can see that below here okay we have count of five now let's just apply some date and number formatting so i'm going to come to the home tab and let's choose short date and let's apply you know currency and let's choose dollars get rid of decimals now this is absolutely cool now these are what is called you know the speed ranges because the formula speaks to the neighboring columns to the right and the neighboring rows at the bottom now let's come to the where the formula leads which is in cell a2 and let's deploy f2 to open up the formula and let's replace this 5 with 10 now this is manual lifting okay so you can see that we have the top 10 which is cool now let's create our 
unique spin button okay so come to the developer tab and let's choose insert and let's choose you know spin button and let's place one here okay now this pin button is dead because we have not set the controls now let's just right click and choose format control now in the format control dialog box we have the control tab open first and i want to set our current value to five minimum value to set to five because we want to do five ten fifteen and twenty and for the max we want to do 20 and the incremental change is going to be 5 and let's link the cell link let's link to cell h5 and click ok now when i click on this spin button it's going to change to 10 15 but it is not governing our data set okay now the ang or the arc is simply to come to the first formula here and let's replace this manual 510 okay let's replace with a direct cell reference so i'm going to reference cell h1 for the k argument of the large function and then i'm going to apply absolute cell reference in order to lock down the h1 okay so f for k once oops so i'm going to deploy f for k once and click on ok bam it automatically obeys the 15 we have here and we can see that this is the top 15 okay now our spin button is now working let's just choose 20 can you see the data cascaded downwards and it gave us the 20 now let's do 15 10 and 5 absolutely cool so everything is working dynamically now let's come to our supplemented data and let's copy this ctrl c or let's just ctrl x to copy and let's paste now the moment we pasted it the table automatically grows can you see so this is the demarcation line and when we come here can you see that the data also update automatically because it is working with formula and you can do uh, top 10 again can you see everything is looking absolutely cool so this is essentially how we use the spin button to filter top 5 10 15 or 20 i hope you enjoyed this video if you do comment likes give thumbs up and very importantly subscribe to this channel because there's a lot to come thank you and bye for now